Hey ladies, good morning. Happy Friday. It is day five of our Free the Excess Fat Boot Camp Challenge. So I'm Cynthia Ray, your coach. You probably know me already. Um, if you haven't, welcome. If you haven't met me, welcome to the group. And today we are on our fifth day of our boot camp challenge of a ketogenic diet along with intermittent fasting to help women break through weight loss plateaus, especially for women who are over 40. Although you don't have to be, this works for all ages, but especially for women over 40 who've been struggling to break through, who've done all the things, who've gone back to their old diets, who've done their friend's diet, who have struggled with hormone imbalance, who have struggled with glycemic issues, whether it's um, hypoglycemia, hyperglycemia, prediabetes, uh, diabetes, um, but can still find weight loss breakthrough and their ultimate health. So that is the purpose of this group. The purpose is to show you that breakthrough can happen, that God has wisdom, that God can give you breakthrough through his grace and his love for you. And I'm excited um, to share that with you. So today on day five, um, I know not all of you are doing this group and that's fine. Um, but if you're watching along and learning, that's awesome. I am. My goal is to teach as many people as I can to learn and understand how to be your best and uh, achieve your best health at any age. So whether you're doing this with us actively or not, that's okay. Welcome and enjoy this week's information. So today I want to start with a scripture. And I was just thinking about yesterday, I was watching some videos, some health videos and learning about how amazing our bodies are. And I've, I love this field of nutrition and fitness and wellness because it just reminds me all the time of how amazing our bodies are. And I just wanted to share with you um, a scripture in Psalm, in Psalm 139. And I know this is a common one, but it just really speaks on this particular thing. So let me show you this. So um, Psalm 139 says, you searched me, Lord, and you know me. This is David. Um, you know when I sit and when I rise. You perceive my thoughts from afar. You discern my going out and my lying down. You're familiar with all my ways. Before a word is even on my tongue, you, Lord, know it completely. You hem in me and behind me and lay your hand upon me. Such knowledge is too wonderful for me, too lofty for me to attain. Where can I go from your spirit? Where can I flee from your presence? If I go to the heavens, you are there. If I make my bed in the depths, you are there. If I rise on the wings of the dawn, if I settle on a far, on the far side of the sea, even there your hand will guide me. Your right hand will hold me fast. If I say, surely the darkness will hide me and the light become night around me, even the darkness will not be too dark for you. The night will shine like the day, for darkness is light to you. For you created me, for you created my inmost being. You knit me together in my mother's womb. I praise you because I'm fearfully and wonderfully made. Your works are too wonderful. I know that full well. My frame was not hidden from you when I was made in a secret place. When I was woven together in the depths of the earth, you saw my unformed body. Your, you saw my unformed body. All the days ordained for me were written in your book. How vast is the sum of them. Were I to count them, they would outnumber the grains of sand. When I awake, I am still with you. Thank you, Lord. That's amazing. I mean, he has known us since the beginning of time. We've been a part of his plan forever. And it's such a blessing and an honor to be living out in our lives in this generation and to be a part of what he's doing in the world today. So be thankful every day for your body. Um, just give God thanks and praise him um, for the body that you, he's created for you, that every little cell in our bodies has a name. It has intention. It has a purpose. And even because of sin, our bodies aren't perfect, right? In heaven, yes. On earth, not right now, but we can still achieve and activate that grace and blessing that God has for us through his love um, and achieve our best um, because of his wisdom that he gives us. So what I want to encourage you today is to really appreciate your body for what it is. Even though we store extra body fat, that's an amazing thing. And even though we might look in the mirror and be like, oh, why do I have fat, you know, on my arms or in my tummy or on my thighs or whatever. And it truly is an amazing mechanism that God put in us where he put it there so we can store um, excess toxins, excess sugar, um, excess hormones that aren't serving us in a healthy way. 
and store them in a place outside of our organs so that we can stay healthy. Um, however, we also know that um, we don't want that on our bodies either, right? So he's given us a mechanism, which actually our bodies were originally designed, if you think of it this way, to be fat burners, um, to use stored energy that is on our bodies instead of constantly using the energy that we get from food. So that's how God designed our bodies. And it's so amazing because the past, I don't know, a few months or so, God has really done a big download on my heart, on my mind, um, giving me so much wisdom, so much information about um, how he designed our bodies and the intention that he has when he created them. And he still does. Our bodies are still pretty much the same as he did when he created them outside of, you know, sin and everything. But um, our bodies are designed to be fat burners. So this week, that has been my goal, is to show you how to tap into our stored body fat for fuel instead of using the excess sugar um, that is circulating in our system um, because of when we eat and instead tapping into that by using intermittent fasting and also using a higher fat, moderate protein, a low or carbohydrate diet to tap into those stores. So when you're fasting, if you're going into 16, 17 or 18 hours, you're going to start to see a little bit more of that fat burning and your body shifting into using fat as fuel and then your liver creating ketone bodies um, as a way to show you <laughs> that fat is being broken down from our body into fatty acids, circulating as ketone bodies, creating that fat and turning it into energy and utilizing those ketones for our brain for extra energy and power. So our brain works really well. We get a lot of brain clarity when we have ketones circulating in our bloodstream and our brain is utilizing ketones as a fuel source. So that's extra encouragement for you. Not only are you gonna be utilizing body fat as fuel and breaking that down, but your brain is also enjoying that for extra brain clarity as well. And when you're fasting too and your body's breaking down um, fat, it's also at the 17 hour mark going through a process called autophagy where it's breaking down um, cells that have gone awry and aren't doing well and aren't healthy and it breaks them down. And at the cellular level, there's little um, cellular components in there, the organelles that actually break down those toxic um, broken down bad cells and ingest them, digest them, and then you excrete them in your urine and feces. Um, so it's fasting is so cool. That's how it helps with the anti-aging process. If we have um, skin that's aging, it helps to break down any of those um, dead cells. If we have um, any internal inflammation going on, um, it helps to break that down or anything that's not serving us. Our God has given our body a mechanism called autophagy that if you wait long enough between meals, if you're fasting at least 17 hours or more, your body's going to start breaking down those bad cells and naturally detoxifying itself. We are always going through autophagy at some level, but when you help your body to do it by just not eating, by not doing anything, by just not eating, not spending an extra dime or penny on extra supplements to detox, all you have to do is let your body give it a chance, give it a break from food, 17 hours or more of fasting, you'll have autophagy happening and breaking down those cells. Anyway, that's not what I was planning on talking about today, but I guess that's what God wanted me to talk about. So appreciate your body, allow it to do what it needs to do to take care of you. I know hunger might get in the way if you're feeling hungry and you're waiting 17, 18 hours to eat. That's normal. Um, our bodies are conditioned to eat at certain times of the day because we condition it by the times of day that we eat. There's a hormone called ghrelin um, that is actually a hunger hormone that does not come from our brain, but actually comes from your stomach. Um, so if you have hunger pangs, um, you can do certain things. I like to drink um, sparkling soda that helps to kind of bring that hunger down. Um, I also like to uh, drink extra water, some coffee, um, some tea, but if you are fasting, make sure you're not adding anything to it, um, drinking it black just for the time being, um, and it'll help to get through those moments. So even exercise, honestly, exercising while you're fasting is takes your fasting and your breakdown of body fat to the next level. Um, it's amazing because you can see that when you go without food for a period of time, your body's going to go and switch into that alternate fuel source of body fat instead of carbohydrate, and you're going to feel really good and energized. Um, so I challenge you to do that if you haven't already. This is all wisdom that I have recently gotten um, downloaded to me and that I'm sharing with you today. And I, over the past, let's see, two months ago, I decided to put together a test group to test out this theory 
um, with women 40 and older who are also struggling, who had been, not anymore, who are struggling with breaking through weight loss plateaus and um, have done so. So we did eight week course, really diving in deep. This is, I'm just giving you surface stuff, um, diving in deep, implementing these principles um, and taking this to the next level. They are in a whole separate private group right now. I'm going to be sharing with you their testimonials and how they've overcome um, any of the challenges and broken through despite hormone imbalances, despite their age, um, despite glycemic issues, um, despite not being able to lose weight because doing all the things and nothing's working anymore. So I'm excited to share this with you. The um, program is going to be opening up soon for public use and consumption. Um, so stay tuned for that. And I will be sharing with you some testimonies later today, but keep going. If you want to continue doing this, um, I am happy to continue doing this next week as well. Um, if you haven't started with us, you can start now. <laughs> you can start on Monday and I'll continue with this until I open up um, the actual course that's going to take you to the whole new level, um, help you to do this for the long haul, continue this as a lifestyle and give you the support that you need in the process, breaking through weight loss plateaus, breaking through weight loss barriers that you didn't think you could. Um, and anyway, I'm super excited because we've done this and I can't wait for you to live this out with us as well. Okay, I have a great Friday and look for that testimony I'll be sharing later today. Okay, and invite a friend. If you know somebody who could use this, invite a friend. So I always say sharing is caring. Okay, I'll talk to you all soon.